Molly always liked to bring Tomcat over to Millie's house. Hi, Millie. Hi, Molly. Because Tomcat liked to play with Marmalade. Where's Ma Marmalade? Uh-oh. But Millie's dad didn't like to play with Marmalade. She's on my chair. Marmalade? Again. Naughty cat, you know you're not allowed on Dad's chair. And drinking my tea, again. Cats don't touch human food, remember? Marmalade, shoo! Sorry, Dad. I'll get you a new one. Come on, Marmalade. Tomcat wants to play with you. I'll keep Marmalade busy outside, Dad. She won't annoy you anymore. <laughs> I find that hard to believe. The next day at school, Millie and Molly were busy making a present for Millie's dad. Good work, everyone. I can see that you're all using craft time to make something useful. Your dad's going to really like this bird bath. I hope it'll take his mind off Marmalade. She really annoys him. And what's that you're making, Harry? It's a double bed quilt for Brian and Bryony. Oh, Brian and Bryony must be very tiny. <laughs> Remember Harry's pet mice? Oh, yes. Oh, how could I forget? And there's a little bow for each of them, so I know who's who. Pink for Bryony and blue for Brian. <laughs> Lucky little mice. So do you like it, Dad? Oh, I love it, Millie. And the birds are going to love it too. Hmm. I wonder what sort of bird that is. Look in your bird book, Dad. Hmm. Could be that one. Oh, there's a lot that look like that. What's on the next page, Dad? Gosh, this book's full of beautiful birds. away from here? I'm worried she's going to hurt one of these beautiful birds. I'll keep Marmalade shut in the house. The birds will be safe. Yes, that's much better, Millie. Shoo! <laughs> Millie would have to hurry if she was going to clean up another marmalade mess before Dad found out. Now, I just need to check that soccer score. What? Why is this chair all wet? Marmalade? Oh, oh that's disgusting. No, not that. She knocked the vase over. It's just water. The vase? There's water everywhere. At least the birds are safe, Dad. Yes, but for how long? The next day, Molly was taking Tomcat for a walk and tried to sneak past Snippy Aunt Maud without being seen. Ah, just the person I want to see. I've got an important job that wants doing. I need you and that cat of yours, and Millie and her cat. I've got a terrible outbreak of mice in my garden shed, and I want your cats to hunt them. Well, all right? Yes, Aunt Maud. Over at Millie's house, Marmalade was going the right way to cause more trouble. Right here. Millie, where's the remote? Um, I don't. <coughs> Marmalade, naughty cat! That cat again? Here, Dad. Oops. No. <sighs> it might still work. <laughs> Shut up, don't worry out there with those birds. Millie, they come in the back way. Marmalade! Marmalade, don't 
Don't you dare go outside. <laughs> do not belong together. <laughs> Millie and Molly were on their way to Aunt Maud's to help with her mice crisis. Do you really think that Tomcat and Marmalade can help? But Millie couldn't get her mind off what Dad had said about Marmalade and the birds not belonging together. I just wish I'd never given Dad that stupid bird bath. Then he wouldn't be so angry with Marmalade. Now all the trouble is inside this shed. <laughs> Look at the mess! Wow! Hundreds of mice must have moved in here. Hundreds, if not thousands! Mm, did you see them? No, but you can tell by all the damage the wretched pests have done. Have you found anything yet? No. Oh, wait! box over it, shut the cats in the shed overnight, and when the mice try to escape through the hole, they'll end up in the box. And now for sport with Jimmy Jingles. There was an upset at the French Open when top seed Anna Canova... Strong, gusty northerly winds ahead of a cool change. Rain at times, clearing to a fine day. The outlook for the next week... It's so peaceful around here. You mean, without marmalade? It's just cats and birds. They don't really get along together, do they? So you think marmalade should stay at Aunt Maud's? Now that's a thought. Hmm. The next morning, Molly was eager to see if the mousetrap had worked. Sleep. They must have been exhausted from chasing all those hundreds of mice. Well, I certainly hope so. Millie, let's check the trap. OK. But all Millie could think about was being parted from marmalade. Oh! <laughs> What's so funny? Hundreds of mice? Mm -mm. Thousands of mice? No. Brian and Bryony? Brian and Bryony? He just lives down the street. What? Two tiny pet mice did all that damage? <laughs> Tomcat, you mere brave hunter, trapping all those mean, scary mice. Marmalade, I miss you so much. Well, they certainly deserve their milk. Back soon, Aunt Maud. We've just got to get Brian and Bryony safely home. Then I'll take you to the pet shop. Buy a gift each for your cats. That's very kind, Aunt Maud. Fiddlesticks. The cats did a good job. Perhaps one of them could stay here permanently. No. Tomcat and I, we belong together. Millie, that marmalade cat would be useful around here. Um... I... Uh, I'll think about it. You do that. to close the cage door when I put their quilt in. They look so happy to be home. I thought I'd never see them again. It was awful not having my pets here with me. So from now on, Harry, you should take better care of them and keep them under control. Later that morning, Aunt Maud took Millie and Molly and Marmalade and Tomcat to the pet shop. I think Tomcat wants this fairy ball. Millie? What does Marmalade want? I haven't got all day. Looks like she wants a bungee for morning tea. Marmalade, naughty cat! Well, come on, pick something out. Hey, did you see what those birds did when they heard that bell? Yes, 
Why? I think Marmalade has just found exactly what she needs, Aunt Maud. But Millie, the beautiful bird, it looks like it's about to become that cat's lunch. Just wait and see what happens. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> saved by the bell. So, Dad, can Marmalade stay? Mm-hmm. I hadn't even thought about her moving to Aunt Maud's till you suggested it. Really? I know how much she means to you. And now we can all get along together. Class, my name is Mr. Webster. I'll be teaching you Where, for. Where's Miss Blythe? Miss Blythe is looking after her mother, who's sick. Oh. Yes. When will she be back? She'll be away for a week. A oh. week. Now, everyone, outside. How yeah. come? Well, for our morning walk, of course. Morning walk. I know it will take a bit of getting used to. But a walk is a great way to get us going in the morning. Why can't we just start the day with show and tell? Yeah, like we always do. Millie and Molly wanted their school day to stay just the same. But in the afternoon, there were more changes for Millie and Molly's class. OK, class, time to put your drawings away. Want to do a jigsaw in free time? Yeah, great! And then sit down on the mat for story time. Yeah. You don't usually have story time in the afternoon? This is when we always have free time, Mr Webster. And free time is everyone's favourite time in the whole day. I know it's a bit of a change, but maybe story time will become everyone's favourite time of the day. So, come on then. <sighs> this is a really exciting adventure story called Mackenzie McDougall and the Mysterious Monster of the Deep. Monster? Yay! How does the story start? Is the monster from outer space? We'll just wait until everyone is sitting down on the mat. Now when will I get to make buildings out of blocks? I was going to make a mega huge soccer stadium today. Right. Mackenzie McDougall was the only girl in her village who believed in the legend of the Loch Ness Monster. She lived in a the next day, Millie and Molly were trying not to let all the changes get them down. Well, at least Miss Blatt's only gone for a week. Yeah, only a week. Two more weeks. Oh, Two weeks? Why? Because Miss Blythe's mother is still unwell and needs some extra care. Oh. I know you all miss Miss Blythe. And I'm sure she misses you too. Mr Webster? Yes, Millie? What about the school's parents' day? I've already invited my mum and dad to come and visit our class. I yeah. told my mum. Dad's coming. Dad's coming. Now, calm down. We were going to do a show for our parents. It's OK. We can still do a show for parents' day. Molly, can you tell me what Miss Blythe had planned? Well, we've started making puppets out of old socks. This is how it works. Hello, Mr. Webster. <laughs> Still have to sew on some wool for hair. And we were going to make a puppet theatre out of a cardboard box. I want to make a big, huge, ginormous puppet, like the monster in the book. 
A Loch Ness Monster Puppet! What an interesting idea, Humphrey. Everyone can work together to build one huge Loch Ness Monster Puppet. A monster puppet? So Mr Webster made the frame for the Loch Ness Monster Puppet and showed Millie and Molly's class how to cover it with paper and glue. It was all in separate pieces, so it was hard to see how the puppet would turn out. Do you think this looks like the Loch Ness Monster? Not really. I think it looks like a horrible mess. Now, the Monster Puppet won't look like much until you see all the parts together. But you're all going to have to work a bit faster. Otherwise, we won't be ready for Parents' Day. OK, Mr Webster. And remember to tell your parents we're doing this show in the park. <sighs> it wasn't till the morning of Parents' Day that rehearsal for the Monster Puppet Show could begin. The monster was finally complete. But it was hard to tell. Now, Jack, you're the monster's head. Poppy and Sophie, you've got one monster body section. Tom and Elizabeth, you'll have the other. And Meg, the tail. Got that? I think so, yes. But with all the changes Mr Webster had brought, only Humphrey seemed enthusiastic. This is where the parents will watch from. I want my mum to be right up at the front so she can see me. I want my mum and dad to be right up the back. Me too. Humphrey, this is for you. Cool. Hello. Hello. This is Humphrey. I'm all Loch Ness Monsters. Millie, you're on percussion. It's a very important role. And you'll stand here. Right near the mums and dads. And Molly, stand over here. You're the girl who looks out for the monster on the banks of the loch. Well, could she at least be a princess? Sorry, she's just a girl from the local village, like in the book. Oh. Ready, everyone? And cue Humphrey. By the deep, dark waters of Loch Ness. That's when we see the waves of the loch. George, Chloe, Harry, Alf, come on, make the waves. Try and make them bigger. Go on, Humphrey. A girl was watching and waiting. Molly, that's when you come out and step towards the lock. To see if the myth was true, the legend of the Loch Ness Monster. Millie, start the drumbeat. <laughs> Much slower, Millie. That's when the monster comes on, Jack. I can't see where I'm going. Is this the right way? Jack, you've got the head on backwards. And Meg, the tail is supposed to come last. Ow, Stop ow. there. Where's the middle of the monster? Is this the right way? What's where you going? Ow! Is everyone oh, all right? You've got to ruin everything. I knew we should have stuck with the sock puppets. Why do we have to change? Right. Everyone, class meeting. I know why things aren't going well. You're frightened. No, we're not. You don't know it, but you are. But that's OK. It's normal. But what are we frightened of? Frightened of doing something different. So you're not trying very hard to make this puppet show work. Now, I know I've made some changes to your school day, and that can be hard. We all feel more comfortable with things we like or plan ourselves, right? Yeah, OK. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is yeah. right. Yeah. But if we never took a chance, too frightened to try something different than what a boring life we'd all lead. Everything the same, forever. We'd still be living in caves. With dinosaurs and saber-toothed tigers? Now, that's not a good thing, Humphrey. Oh. We wouldn't have houses or electricity or hospitals or, or, or ice cream. Ice oh, cream? Well, someone had to be brave enough to try the first ice cream. It might have tasted terrible. <laughs> but it didn't. No, it didn't. You never know how much fun something might be until you try it, do you? No, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we could try harder. Yeah. Yeah, we could. I'm brave. Yeah. Well, your parents will appreciate it. And Miss Blythe. Miss Blythe? Blythe? Yes. She'll be coming to watch today. And she'll be back teaching you tomorrow. I hope 
hope it's going to be okay. We haven't had much practice. We can only try hard and be brave. Shh, it's about to start. Parents and visitors, welcome to our show called Legend of the Deep. By the deep, dark waters of Loch Ness. A girl was watching and waiting to see if the myth was true. The legend of the Loch Ness Monster. Waiting and watching. Waiting and waiting. And waiting, hoping for a glimpse. proud of you all. Oh, Mr Webster, so am I. That Loch Ness Monster is so much more exciting than the wee sock puppet show I had planned. What a brilliant idea. That was my brilliant idea. Humphrey. Now I'm really impressed, Mr Webster. I've had a great time at your school and that show today was a terrific way to finish. Excuse me, Miss Bly. Can we still go on our morning walk tomorrow? It's the best way to start the day. It really gets you going. And can we still have story time every day? It's my most favourite time of day. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you do you right you certainly can. It's great to have some exciting changes to our school day. Thanks to Mr Webster. 